Welcome to Research Rocks. In this video, we will see how to say default application in your iPhone 16 series or 15 series. If you update iOS 18, so this video is very important for you. How to say default application in your iPhone? Let's check it out. So for this demonstration, you should come on the screen. You can very easily see and same changes you should use if you like this changes so first of all you need to enter the setting the general then software update it's required to update at least 18 currently i have in 18.4 accordingly you should update go back and scroll down totally in here app and this year they are introducing default application features you should use these features and you can very easily enjoy so we can just simply tab here as here the default application point of view just only couple of application you should use first only is email so we can here simply tap so two types of email you want choose as a default so here the mail option already available because of mail application comes on apple and gmail google so i always use a gmail application it's very easy to understand so that's why i am using gmail default application if i mail someone a tab any of the email so automatically gmail application open and send the mail very easily here the message just only message application is available future they are updating like a whatsapp or other signal application as well calling calling point of view two types of features they are introducing one is facetime second one is a phone one which one you like accordingly you decide i always prefer phone call the call filtering so i have two application one is airtel and second one is a call second one is a true caller so some of the fraud calls sms if i am receiving or coming on my number so true callers and airtel avoid those features and stop the scams second one is a browser one of the important points if you install multiple web browser in your phone so you should select which particular website or link if you tap so which browser you want to use day-to-day -day activities i prefer safari browser because of safari comes in iphone safari comes in apple so this is what this one is a more secure compared to other browsers and this one is more compatible for the iphone devices so that's why i am selecting here the safari browser translation just only one application and this application by default available on iphone translation application one of the important points come here the password and codes so here the three options are available like if you install multiple web browsers so multiple options also come here i install just only one browser and google application so here the save password password application also available by default in your iphone so you should select this one only not require your specific secure password to store third party application like a google or any other web browser so you should tick this one and disable other browser save the password and keyboard here so this is some of the features you should use and secure your iphone and access by default application as you like if you really like these tips and tricks so please hit the bell icon share this video and subscribe our youtube channel research rocks till then jai hind vande mataram